Uh, Carlos, how you doing, Carlos? Good All question. Right. Uh, you're you so-called Hispanic, right? Well, Mexican, Puerto Rican, Mexican, Mexican. Now, as you see right here, the Aztec Mexicans, they're not called Mexican. That's not what God calls you. That's what your oppressor called you, sir. You asked for the tribe of Issachar. Did you know that you're an Israelite? An Israelite. Do you, you believe in the Bible? No. You don't believe in the Bible? Why don't you believe in the Bible? Huh? Look, I'm going to show you something in the Bible to prove to you that you're not a Mexican. Because as you can see right here, this happened to your people, right? Yeah. Being enslaved, Hernan Cortez, forcing the cross on you. That's a, that, yeah, that's the reason why most of us don't believe in the Bible. But you got to understand, this Bible is our history book, brother. Uh, Let me show you something. Give me uh, Genesis 49, <clears throat> verse 1. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 49, verse 1. And Jacob called unto his sons and said, Gather yourselves together, that I might tell you that which shall befall you in the last day. So Jacob, which had his name changed to Israel, told all these tribes to gather together so I can tell you what's going to happen to you and where you're going to be at when the last days come. Mm -hmm. Two, gather yourselves together and hear ye sons of Jacob and hearken unto Israel your father. Israel, that's where the word Israelite comes from. It's from Israel. But verse 14, because remember, his name Issachar. Issachar. All right, listen. Verse 14, Issachar is a strong ass. Issachar is a strong ass. You know, it's talking about a donkey. The reason why the Most High God compares you to a donkey, because a donkey can work long hours and they take very little rest. And think about it, when you go to Mexico, you always see the man walking with his bull, with his donkey. You guys are compared to a donkey because you have very similar traits, right? Issachar is a strong ass crouching down between two burdens. They're crouching down between two burdens, which is working long hours for very minimum pay. As we speak right now, there's a fire going on in California, and guess what our people are doing? They're still picking strawberries. They're still getting avocado while the smoke is in their face. You're still, you're still working, but you only get paid two to three dollars an hour. Is that fair? No, read. And he saw that rest was good. So he saw that rest is good. Siesta. Now, yeah. So when you know, um, Instacart works. Mexican works a lot of jobs, right? Or they work really long hour jobs, and in between their jobs, what do they do? They take a nap, so they can get back up and go to work again. I never heard of a, uh, a Mexican take a longer than an eight hour sleep. That, that never happened. They got to get up and go work. Read. And the land that it was pleasant. Now, Mexico. Mexico is a beautiful land, right? You have Rocky Point. You have Cancun. They go there to vacation, right? Right. So so they go, they go on a vacation, right? But if you want to come here, they want to ask you for the green card. Is that right? That's not right. They could go there and destroy your land and have parties pretty great. Right? But if you want to come here, you have a better life for your family. You're an illegal alien. You can't be here. Which was your land first, right? This was your land first, correct? All right. Hey, uh, keep reading. And bowed his shoulder to bear. So you bowed your shoulder to bear. That means you started working in the sugar cane. You started being put in slavery. This is what it means about being the uh, bowed your shoulder to bear. You started getting lashes, getting ripped on the back, being killed, persecuted. Read. And became a servant unto tribute. Now for you to come live in America, you got to pay taxes. You have to pay taxes in your own land. Before Hernan Cortez and Christopher Columbus came, what language were you speaking before you spoke Espanol? Because you weren't speaking Spanish before they came. They came and conquered, just like, how are we speaking English? We were conquered. They forced English on us. So what language were you speaking? A lot of you weren't speaking Spanish. A lot of y'all was speaking Hebrew. In New Mexico, they found the mosaic stone with the commandments on it. They found that in New Mexico. And who was in New Mexico? 
the, the so-called Mexicans. They were in California, Arizona, and, in, and New Mexico. And they found that there. Now hold on, peep this out. Uh, 501. The Book of Lamentations, chapter 5, verse 1. Remember, O Lord, what has come upon us. Consider and behold our reproach. Look at us, God. Look how we're living. We're being shot down. We're being killed. Put in cages. Look what's going on with us. Read. Our head inheritance is turned to strangers. Your land was turned into strangers. This is your land. And now, who owns it? White people own it. Until you stay off of it. We, hey, bro, let me speak with you for a second, all right? Our houses to aliens. Your houses that you built for them got turned into turned to aliens. But what do they call? What do they call Mexicans when they come to uh, America? They call them illegal Mexican. I mean, illegal aliens. Hey, brother, hold on. Where we going? No, real quick, man. It be, it be two seconds. This, this is your salvation, brother. You gotta hear it out. So look, they call the Mexicans illegal aliens, but the Bible says white people are the aliens. They came and took your resources, put you in captivity, started killing your people. The black and Hispanics and Native Americans are the same people. Brother, what tribe are you from? Look right here, what do they call you? All right, brother, hey, look on that flyer. No problem. Yeah, look on this flyer. Come see us, bro, because this is important to your life, all right? No problem, brother. So what do you see yourself on that sign, bro? American black. American black. See, that's what they call you. Where would you find the land of black at on a map? You wouldn't, right? So why do we call each other blacks? Why do we call each other African American? That's the name of two white men's they put together, correct? And Leo Skippy is Africanist and and um America Bus Future. America Bus Future. Can say his name right now. Those are the names that we put together. Every 40 to 30 years we change our names. First we Negroes, then we Afro-Negroes, then we Afro-Americans, and now we African-Americans. What are we? Why are we so struggling trying to find our identity? God calls you from the tribe of Judah. You know who is part of the tribe of Judah? Get that for me. Hebrews. That, that man is from the tribe of Judah. Not this man. That man. Christ. You got the same bloodline as Christ that flows through you. And I'm going to show you. You got it? This is the book of Hebrews, chapter 7, verse 14. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Our Lord, Christ, came out of Judah. That's the black man that died for his people. That got persecuted by the police for no reason. Correct? Does that happen today? That happens to us today. So I'm going to show you that, yes, you are an Israelite. I'm going to show you how important the Israelite is. 7, verse 6. I'm going to show you how important it is to be an Israelite come back to your nationality. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy God. The Bible said that you are a holy people unto, unto the Lord thy God. He's your God. This is all possessive. We? The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people. Unto himself. He chose you to be a special people, brother. What's your name, brother? Greg. Greg, he chose you to be a special people unto himself. He chose you, the black, Hispanics, and Native Americans. He chose us to be the special people unto himself. That's right. He said, you belong to me. We? Above all people. Equal to? All people. Below? All, above all people that are upon the face of the earth. We're supposed to be above all people, above, uh, above all people on this earth. Look at our condition now. Are we above or are we below? Below. Do you know why we're below? I'm going to show you why we're below. Go ahead and get that from Let's go, let's go. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. But, that, but it shall come to pass if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So it's saying, if, you, if, it, if this won't happen in the future, if you do not listen to the, uh, to the words of your Lord, your God, if you don't listen, all right, read. To observe to do all his commandments. To do all his commandments, read. And his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. 
all these curses will come upon us and overtake us. Is curses a good thing or a bad thing? Bad thing. So I'm gonna show you something, brother. I'm gonna show you a curse. One of the curses, all right? You got that? Because if we look right now, remember the first thing I said is that we change our name every 30 to 40 years. We have an identity issue. That's the reason why we're killing each other in the street. It's just like when a little boy doesn't have his father, he's out in the, in the wolves. That's where we are right now. That's our condition. We live in the streets. We, we don't know who we are, so we're angry. Read. Jeremiah chapter 17, verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shall discontinue from thy heritage. The Bible said that you should be discontinued from your heritage, meaning that you're going to forget. You're going to forget your language. You're going to forget who you are and where you come from. You can sit here and say that you're African. Hey, brother, hey, keep God's commandments, brother. You're an Israelite. You can sit here and say that you come from Africa, but what continent? I mean, what, what country? Africa's a continent. You come from uh, uh, Iraq? Do you, do you come from Ethiopia? Do you come from Ethiopia? You, you don't know. You just continue from your heritage. You come from Israel, brother. That's right. That's who you are. You're an Israelite. Me? That I gave thee, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not. You will serve your enemies in the land that you do not know. Brother, look at this. That's, that's a prophecy. Did that happen? Is it still happening to this day? Go back to Deuteronomy 28. Hey, brother. Hey, let me speak with you for a second. Come up here. Come here. Come here. Come here. You need to hear this too, because this, this goes for both of y'all. So you're in, uh, what nationality are you, brother, if you don't mind me asking? Chicano. Chicano, so Mexican, right? Mexican-American. Mexican See, that's the thing. That's what I mean by the identity piece. We call ourselves Mexican-American. We call ourselves Chicano. We call ourselves uh, Latino. But what language were you speaking before you spoke Spanish? Or what language were you people speaking before you got coffee? Because the same thing that happened to us? Nahua. Huh? Nahua. Nahua? Still speak that language now? So look, when the, the Spanish or the Spaniards came, the same thing that happened to our people happened to your people. Force of a language, force of religion, and force of culture. That's right. Hey, read that again, because I'm gonna show I'm gonna show pay attention today. What's your name, brother? Johnny. Alright, read it. Keep your finger on it, brother. You gotta understand, we are living the same life right now. We're, we're, we're suffering the same thing, correct? Insinuating minorities? The black Hispanics, Native Americans are the Israelite according to the Bible. Hey, so you said that you're Mexican American, that's not what God called you. He said you're an, uh, you're from the tribe of Escar, you're an Israelite, brother. That's right. The Mexican was put on you after you were conquered, just like African American was put on us when we were conquered. That's right. Breathe. Jeremiah chapter 17 verse 4 And thou even thyself shall discontinue from thy heritage Brother, you're going to be discontinued from your heritage Brother, you will discontinue from your heritage You will keep the same custom that your families did back then And your family, your father's fathers Three That I gave thee That God gave thee Three And I will cause thee to serve thine enemies it will cause you to serve your enemies. Did that happen? Did that happen? No, no, I got this. I got this. Did that happen to your people? That happened to your people, right? You got you got forced to worship a false god. A false god. You got burned if you ain't kneel to that man. You got whipped and you got forced into slavery to work to sit here and build this country. And then they call you lazy. And then they call you an illegal um illegal alien. That's a slap to your face. It's, we were brought here. Give me Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. So I'm going to show you how you guys are Israelites. Uh, verse 15, read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments. To do all his commandments. You won't stop and listen. Listen to God, because this is future prophecy that Moses is telling the Israelites. Look, y'all right here in front of me, this is what's going to happen if you don't follow these commandments. Read. 
and his statue, uh -huh. which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All these curses shall overcome thee and overtake thee. Read. Cursed shall thou be in the city. Cursed shall be in the city. All people cursed in the city? We're cursed in the city, right, Johnny? You can't, you can't go to, to a uh, certain spot in Mexico because cartel might run it. You can't even go to a certain spot here in America because your own people might kill you. We're going to ask you where you're from. Your own people are going to rob you. Your own people are going to rob you. You're living in the lowest state. Now, the white people can go here and live in Scottsdale. The Chinese people got their own community, but our community is destroyed. We live in the ghettos. We live in the raggedy houses. You call the police, they're going to show up three hours later. We are destroyed. Read. And cursed shall thou be in the field. Cursed shall be in the field. The tobacco field, the sugarcane field, the cotton field. We were cursed, correct? Are we still cursed to this day? You go to California, while the fire happen, you have the Mexicans sitting and still working. Still working, still working picking strawberries for two to three dollars an hour. You go to you go to prison and they'll make you go out there and pick vegetables for 25 cents. That's still being a curse in the field. Give me verse 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given unto another people. It says your sons and your daughters shall be given unto another people. Does that happen? Did that happen? When did that happen, brother? Not too long ago, uh, 16, 1612, right? 1619. Does that still happen? Does that still happen to this day? Your sons and your daughters are given to another race of people. Does that happen? Adoption. Huh? Adoption. Not just adoption. What's going on on the borders? What are they, what are they doing to those kids? Keeping them locked up. And you know what they do with those kids? Because they said, until their parents get them back, we're going to adopt them out to white people. They're selling your children. They're selling some of your children. Not just that, a lot of those children are being raped. This is a curse, and it's a prophecy that still continue on to our people to this day. You got to wake up and look like, yo, this stuff, is, this stuff is still happening. Why is this happening to us? Because you're not following God's commandments. Give me on verse 48. Verse 48, therefore thou, thou, therefore shall thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee. So don't forget, it's not the white people's fault why this stuff is happening, it's our fault. Because we stop paying attention to God, because we stop following his commandments. We stop gathering together, being one people. Because when you divide them, you conquer them. And that's what's happening right now. Three. In hunger. So you're going to be serving your enemies in hunger. So when you get hungry, where do you go to get your food? White people, where do you go to get your food? Ranch Market. Who owns Ranch Market? Bashes. Fries. They own Ranch Market. They own Food City. Who owns those? White people. Read. And in thirst. I'm looking at your hand right now. Who did you have to go to? Was that your own people's store? For drink and in thirst. That you got for Wendy's. When your water get cut off, who do you got to go to pay for it? To the city. Who owns the city? White people. Go ahead, brother. Who? White people, who? Right? And in nakedness. Everything that you wear, brother, down to your shoes, you got it from your, your oppressors, your enemies, not your friends. Read. Right? And in the want of all things, and he shall put... In the want of all things, brother. So see, see don't forget all I was saying. saying. I was talking about... Uh, uh, being a legal Mexican and all that. So you need a citizenship? You have to go to them for citizenship? You have to go to them uh, for your license, a death certificate, a birth certificate, education, religion. You got to go to them for everything, right? That's crazy. Think about it. Wow. I am still in slavery. Read. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. They did that to the to the Hispanics and Native Americans. They put yoke of arms on your neck. They did that to you. They still do it to this day. They still do it. Read. Until he has destroyed thee. 
and tell me you did listen to me, tell me you destroyed me. How how are people destroyed today? They destroyed spiritually, physically, and mentally. Our people are destroyed mentally. Look around. I'm pretty sure you can't trust certain family members around your things because they might steal it. Right? Right? You gotta be like, hey, hey, why hey, watch him. He he a klepto. You gotta you really gotta think why we can't even trust our own people. Because we're that destroyed. Read. The Lord shall bring a nation against thee from far. The Lord shall bring a nation against your people, against our people from far. Read. From, from, the, from one end of the, of the earth and even to the other. So they're going to get you. They're going to come from one side of the earth to come get you. Now, if you think about the Europeans, the Spaniards, which are Europeans, they came from all the way from over there to come over here, correct? They're also white. That's what I'm saying. They also make them no, they're, they're white. That makes me half white. Not necessarily, brother. We want to get into that, all right? All right. Uh, so, like I was saying, bro, let's put it this way. A, a lot of black people were raped in slavery, too. But it's all about the, if the spirit bears witness. When you realize and open your mind, it's like, yo, this has happened to me, happened to my people. That's the most high God trying to wake you up. Say, wake up and realize who you are. Keep reading. As swift as the eagle flying. So it said this nation is going to come from one in the earth to come over here to get you. As swift as an eagle flying. Whose nation symbol is an eagle? Because like I said, it's a prophecy. A what? America. America. Hey, give me that sign right there. Yeah. Not just America, brother. Look. Look right here. You have the Greeks. You have the Romans. You have the Spaniards. Then you have America. Then you have Germany, the UK. They, all their symbols is an eagle. Why is that? They all one nation, that's why. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.